in this tutorial we will see the next set of commands 3d commands autocad 3d commands so this object is here suppose I want to create a fillet so click on fillet then select first object suppose I want to create a fillet around this line like this so I will choose that line then give the fillet value suppose 4 then press enter then again press enter so it will create a fillet fillet select first edge then fillet give the fillet radius to enter then if you want to create fillet to multiple lines then choose other lines also then press enter so it will be created to all the li selected lines so in this way you can create fillet the next is chamfer then for this also where you want to create a chamfer select that line then ok click on ok then select specify base surface chamfer distance suppose for you enter select other surface that is also for you enter then you have to here again you have to select that line then press enter so in this way fillet will be sorry chamfer will be created suppose I don't want this object is it then suppose I want to create some object I want to create some sketch on this plane so normally we uh, up till now we use these planes right front and top to work on different surface but using these planes you cannot shift change your UCS to this surface because it is inclined surface and it is not under standard inclinations so to work on this surface you have to use from here click here view and choose face option then face then click on the face and accept click on accept so your plane will be aligned to that surface then whatever you create now that will be created on that surface suppose I create a circle here and uh, if now I press pull it so perpendicular extrusion will be created so in this way you can work on non-standard surface also so if you wa don't want to see these grids you can make it off from here grid display off suppose we will have again the standard view SI isometric then you can use press pull command for editing also if you want to edit the dimensions of some object click on press pull click the surface suppose I want to increase the height of this object click on the surface give the direction and put the distance for you or you can press pull edit this also and you can give the dimension as per your requirement suppose I want to make a hole so in this way you can use press pull for editing the object also escape then next is you can use 3d mirror to create a mirror object in 3d so 3d mirror select object enter then choose the three point option so that you can give a play a three point of the plane around which you want the mirror so I will say three point suppose I want to mirror around this surface so I will click the three points of this surface first point second point third point then delete source object no so yeah, my mirror will be crea created around that surface mirror select object enter three point give the three point suppose I want to mirror around this surface then delete source object no so in this way it, the mirror will be created then next is 3d align suppose you want to align a surface align a 3d object with other object suppose I want to put this object on this object so this object should be vertical that means I have to say suppose uh, this point will come on this line or uh, this line will come on this line and this line will be on this line so I want to just make it vertical and put here 
so for that I will say 3D align select object enter then specify the base point suppose I choose this as a base point then second point I will take this one and third point I will take this one so you have to now specify your first point suppose that first base point will be aligned with this point second point will be aligned with this point and third point will be aligned with this point so in this way you can use 3d align so you have to specify three points for that then 3d align after that 3d rotate is there if you want to rotate in 3d so just click on this 3d rotate select object then enter then you have to choose how you want to rotate you want to rotate like a cir uh, red circle green circle or blue circle and you can also choose the base point also suppose I want this as a base point so around this base point it will be rotated so I want to rotate like a blue circle so just take your cursor to blue once it becomes yellow click on that and then give the angle you know how much angle you want to rotate suppose 90 degree so it has been rotated in 90 degrees so anti in anti-clockwise direction it's get rotated so in this way you can use 3d rotate then next is suppose if you want to create a taper surface then you can use taper faces suppose I want to create a taper face for this surface I will just move it away suppose I want to create a taper surface here I want to taper this by 10 degree so I will click here extrude faces click on the arrow then choose taper faces then select face you want to taper then enter then specify base point so whichever line is going inside you have to take first point on that line and second point so second point will be going inside and first will point will remain at its own position so give the second point then give the angle what is taper angle is required suppose 10 degree then enter so then escape to come out so in this way a taper will be created then next is move faces suppose I have some hole here I will just take the top line create a circle here from this midpoint then I will convert by using press pull I will create a hole escape to come out now I suppose I want to shift this hole on the left side so you can use the move faces move faces select the face inside face cylindrical face enter then give the base point give the direction we will make ortho on so it will move straight then give the distance by how much distance you want to move and press enter so in this way press escape to come out you can move the faces then there is color faces if you want to give separate colors to selected faces then press enter and choose the color then ok escape to come out color faces choose the faces enter and choose the color what you want ok escape to come out so in this way you can color the faces suppose I don't want this circle I will erase it then next is separate suppose by mistake if you union the object which are far away from each other suppose if I union by mistake this object and this object then enter if I click on this object this object will also be selected or if I move this object this object will also move because both are connected so if you union uh, object by mistake which are away from each other then you can separate them using this separate command so separate click on the object and exit so exit here you can see that this object is separated from this object so in this way you can use separate command if you click on the arrow nearer to separate then there is shell if you want to create any hollow 
object so choose cell then select a solid for which you want to create a shell then enter no you don't have to enter after that you have to select the remove faces which face you want to remove suppose I want to remove this face then enter then specify the shell offset distance that is thickness how much thickness you want that you have to use suppose I want 0.5 then enter and escape to come out so in this way this shell will be created with 0.5 thickness distance so this thickness will be 0.5 so in this way you can create the shell suppose we will try one more time shell select 3d solid then remove faces which face you want to remove suppose I want to remove these three faces enter give the shell thickness 0.2 enter and exit to come out so in this way you can create a shell object so that's all we will stop here thanks for joining